Hi there, welcome back to DM Keith's Grover in Wakefield. Today I'm going to be showing you around Yankee Bravo 70 Sierra Sierra Kilo, which is this fantastic looking Skoda Kodiak Sportline. It's a 2 litre diesel with 150 brake horsepower, DSG automatic gearbox, and four wheel drive. And it looks fantastic in this colour. You can see you've got the nice black accents dotted throughout the car. I'm going to show you around it now in detail, show you all those details there. We'll start off with the 20 inch alloy wheels. These are the Vega style alloys. Nice five spoke design, looking very flowing and formed well. Uh, all in great condition and plenty of tread left on all tyres as well. As you can see, we've got individual little sport line badging on either sides of the corners of the front wings. Let's move around to the back. As mentioned, you can see you've got black wing mirrors, you've got black window surrounds, black lower skirts there, tinted rear glass on the back as well. As you can see on these door handles, all four doors are keyless entry as well as the boot lid, which we're coming to now. On the back, you can see the individual lettering, all in black, again with the 4x4 badging there as well. And if I show you in the boot, electronic tailgate, of course, with these, you'll find it is a seven-seater. Uh, put one up and one down, so you can show you the size difference with and without the seat up. Uh, underneath there is storage for the parcel shelf. Very, very nice, little bit of extra storage there. It's very practical in here. Very roomy as well. You've got your 12-volt charger socket and your shopping bag holder hooks very fancy you can see that the seat belts took away up here when the seats are in use but it's very very practical there and then press this to close the boot excuse the background noise and then i'll show you how to get into those rear seats so we'll start off with the middle row seats obviously black half leather half alcantara excellent condition you've got lovely carpets down there as well ice fix on the left and right hand side seats and of course the center armrest with two and a half cup holders as you can see in the door there is that red piping there it's got the same uh, lighting that you can adjust the color and the brightness on all the doors and the front dash as well now to get into the seats you pull this tab here and the full section slides forward and you just climb in like so now these are quite roomy, I'm six foot and I just about fit in here. Uh, leg room, these seats can be adjusted fully as a bench, so you get a bit more room back here, but still very practical for short journeys. And then climbing out, you just simply push the seat base back and then just do the reverse to close it like so. You can see we've got the racing seats up front with the pockets in the back and the nice dark headline as well to make it feel very sporty. And as we come to the front, you'll see we've continued the black Sportline theme. We've got the black grille, the black lower skirts, there's even the black roof bars, which I glossed over a second ago. And of course, a nice daytime running lights there as well. Then, as you step inside into the driver's seat, you're presented with a very nice and very well laid out dashboard. You can see we've got the nice carbon fibre effect on the dash rather than the wood or stainless steel look. Uh, same black and half leather, half Alcantara seats in excellent condition. Since they're racing seats, they're very form hugging, very, very comfortable. Uh, as you can see on the centre, you've got 5,452 miles on the clock, so that's still low mileage, barely worn in. Then moving around, we have got basic cruise control on the indicator stalk, front and rear wipers controlled on the opposite side. There is flappy paddle controls for gears, should you want them. You've got on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, volume control, voice control, song and radio selection, heated steering wheel. Then on the opposite side, you've got options to turn off the front assist, to choose between a speed limiter and speed adjust cruise control and to change and cycle through what you want to see in the center. Then as you can see, it's a flat bottom Sportline steering wheel, very chunky steering wheel and very, very nicely styled. Down here, you've got automatic lights with rear and front fogs, like so. You've got keyless go on the uh, column there, the steering column. You've got the electric boot release from here, pull once and it will uh, open the boot. Then once it's fully open, pull and hold and it will close and keep beeping until it's locked. Then here you've got all electric window and mirror controls, including electronic folding and heating and rear window locks, so child locks. Then onto the infotainment. So we'll start off with vehicle status. This lets you know if you need washer fluid, in the case of a diesel, add blue, petrol, if there's a door open before you're about to set off, it will let you know, which is very handy. And then as the usual things, you've got DAB and FM radio on the car. You've got Bluetooth connectivity for your phone and for your music on media, Apple CarPlay and Android auto connectivity as well. And then, of course, the usual satellite navigation as well, which is a very good system. Then, moving down, you've got the air conditioning. You've got front heated seats here. Uh, direct uh, Temperatures control on these two. You can have them independent to one another. Press sync to follow what the driver set to. Fan speed, all your direction buttons there. Stop-start control. This button brings up the parking sensors. 
Uh, if you put it into reverse or you're approaching something slowly, it will pop up automatically. However, if you're unsure, just press the button there. Hazards, lock and unlock. And then with these buttons here as well, you've got uh, drive mode, select and off-road settings there as well. Behind here, under this panel, you've got wireless charging with two USB-C ports and a 12 volt charger socket. Very, very practical and it can also be hidden away. And then with the DSG gearbox, nice and smooth, seven gears, pull back once to get into sport, pull again to get back into drive, and then manual mode, lock over to the left and you can just use the flappy paddles then. Very nice, and there's off-road mode, there is drive mode, select traction control, electronic handbrake and auto hold function. Then under here, you've got your cup holders and the extra storage there. This can be doubled as a, a hideable storage unit or an adjustable armrest as well. Then being a Kodiak, you've got not one, but two glove boxes there. This one down here is air cooled and illuminated. This one is not, but it's still just as good. And then finally up here, you've got your Skoda Connect controls and of course your sunglasses holders. So all in all, this is a very, very well spec car and it looks great as well. If you are interested, please do feel free to visit us at Denverdale Road, Wakefield, WF27AW, or alternatively, give us a call on 01924 246 900. Thank you very much for your time. You take care now.